I've spent the past two years of my life making money online while traveling to places like this, 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 and this. And I did this while only working four hours per day, which equals 24 hours per week. And the only way I could pull this off was by becoming an expert at time management. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five time management techniques. The first one is called the power hour. And this concept originally came from a book called Deep Work written by a university professor named Cal Newport. The power hour technique is when you spend the first hour of your day performing the most difficult task. And during this hour, you eliminate all distractions. You get rid of your phone, you get rid of all the YouTube video tabs, you send your dog in the other room, and you are just focusing on this one task. And there are two main benefits to this technique. It helps prevent procrastination just by getting started. And it also helps you feel a sense of progress early on in the day, which will set you up for a more productive day. I remember back in university when I would study, I would have so many things going on in the background. I would have multiple YouTube videos loaded on my computer. I would be checking my phone all the time. I would have the TV going on in the background. And the result of doing all that is just taking way longer to complete the task. The second time management technique is using a calendar. Aside from being able to plan your power hours, having the ability to view your week at a glance provides you with a myriad of benefits, such as it allows you to plan for the upcoming day and week, it offers you the ability to schedule in new events very easily, it keeps you accountable for things you have to do, and it allows you to prioritize your tasks. I personally love using calendars because it eases my stress and anxiety. It allows me to clearly see what needs to be done, how it needs to be done, and when it needs to be done by. If you have an online calendar, you even have the option to share it with people, which gives them the opportunity to support you if you are very busy. You don't have to plan your entire month, just start with your day and then move to your week. In my opinion, the most challenging part about a calendar is prioritizing what needs to be done which leads us to the third time management technique, using the urgent versus important scale. An important factor for effective time management is deciding where a task lies on the urgent versus important scale. This idea is adopted from a book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, written by habit expert Stephen Covey. Essentially, you have to create a diagram like this one below. Every activity you do throughout the day can be placed in one of the four quadrants, the goal is to stay in the top right quadrant of important but not urgent. This promotes proactive behavior so that you stay on top of things and are minimally stressed. Examples of things that would fall under the urgent and important category would be a serious deadline, a doctor's appointment, or some kind of important meeting. Phone calls, emails would fall under the important and not urgent quadrant, and pointless busy work would fall under the not important and not urgent quadrant. And you have to avoid this quadrant at all costs. It's up to you how you want to prioritize your tasks and decide which tasks should go into each quadrant. When you are prioritizing your tasks, it's important to have a good understanding of how long things will take, which takes us to the fourth time management technique factor of safety. There have been countless times in my own working life, and especially in my student life, where I've created a seemingly flawless schedule and everything is perfectly prioritized. Then all of a sudden, I am interrupted with a problem that needs to be dealt with in that moment. And this doesn't have to be a professional problem. This could be a personal one. It could be a small emergency where you have to go take care of your grandma or something like that. But the point is, it completely throws off your schedule. And when we are delegating our time for the day, we should always include a factor of safety to account for problems, distractions, and errors in our judgment. Always plan a little more time than you think you need when you are scheduling an activity, especially when it's an important one. This will not only allow you to maintain your schedule, but it will alleviate stress, pressure, and it gives you a sense of calmness about your day and tasks. Another great strategy for alleviating stress and pressure is my fifth time management technique. And this one is called taking green breaks. 
Humans are not robots. Unfortunately, we cannot program ourselves to work for eight straight hours. Most of us know that people need breaks, but something most people don't talk about are green breaks. This one Harvard study explains that being around greenery will boost your performance and decision making. One study found that exposure to office plants boosted not only the employee's well-being, but also their productivity by 15%. And that's why I am recording this YouTube video with two lovely plants right beside my computer. And here is a photo. Instead of just taking a break at the water cooler, or instead of just simply tabbing over to a YouTube video as a study break, go outside for 10 minutes and surround yourself with nature. If you are not in an environment where you can do that, like let's say you live in a city or you're in an office, simply surround yourself with plants that are in your environment. And if there are none there, bring some into your workplace. I personally found this one has a huge impact on my creativity and my overall mood. I honestly believe that going outside in nature is like giving our bodies medicine. When we look at photos like this, this, and this, we just feel good. Time is without a doubt the most valuable asset we have in life. Everybody on earth gets the same amount of time, but it's up to us how we choose to spend it. So learning time management is a very important skill. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.